Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-June 2023. And I'll take a look. Well, I won't take a look. I will take a look, but I won't take a look. I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. <clears throat> what is going on? Alright, the overall energy for the reading, the full, definitely opened to something that you're dealing with here. Um, I do feel like there's a connection at play for you, but we'll see as we go along. Starting off the reading, you get the King of Wands crossed by the Queen of Swords. I don't know why this gives me a sense of, you know, that whole thing of, oh, you changed. Something about you is different. You're colder. You're mm, mm, something, something. Especially when I see something in the past there, but um, we'll get there. In your focus here, the lovers, definitely a connection at play for you. In the recent past, the Queen of Wands. That's what I'm getting this whole sense of, because you start off the reading with the King of Wands, and it's crossed by the Queen of Swords. And in the past, it's the Queen of Wands. So it's like there was definitely a, a very like more matching kind of an energy at play between you and another and now it's a little bit you know tiny different a little rough around the edges there so it's like looking at it with that whole sense of hmm what happened here you know uh so i don't know in your strength card the ace of swords definitely willing to put in work to do something about the situation in the immediate future the seven of wands there's a little bit of resistance starting to build up here uh either for you or for whoever you're dealing with supporting this reading a brand new beginning could be at play so that could mean that the energy shifted a little bit and that could make someone look a little different or your perception over there over them being a little different the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it you're a little too much in your head about the whole situation and it could be because of this in your hopes and fears there's the fear of oh my god i'm gonna lose this or something's gonna happen and it's gonna fuck it all up. Um, I feel like at this stage it's just possibly a fear, but we'll see more when we clarify. Um, the potential outcome, the Seven of Swords, the tendency to possibly walk away from a situation is shown up here, so let's clarify. <clears throat> Let me clarify the Fool. Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Now, ain't that interesting. Because um, in between these two queens, the one that's shown up now and the one that was in the past there, there's a little bit of an energy called, I'm trying to accept what is and I'm trying to be open to learn that, you know, people can change or my perception over people can change. So that's the openness you're coming into um, at this time. This whole sense of instead of questioning why someone appeared this way yesterday and they're, they are appearing this way today, let me be open to understand what's going on here instead of just why. Mm, mm, I want you back like that. I don't want you like this. And that's not accepting that things are the way they are. So interesting. Uh, let's do the King of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Knight of Cups. You're definitely showing up quite stable in how you feel and what you want. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of stability that you're you're wanting from this. And you are aware that, you know, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen tomorrow. You know, this whole sense of bringing everything together and keeping it at a steady pace. Um, Queen of Swords. The Devil, the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands. Okay, so they haven't changed from one day to another. It feels like it's been this way for a little minute there. Um, they're actually dealing with something. They're processing some things of their own, their own experience, their own past, whatever patterns they may encounter. 
something that turns them a little maybe sour at this time maybe mm, grumpy a little bit who knows but it does look like yeah they've been they've been dealing with this for a while you know let's do the lovers in your focus the justice card the six of pentacles the eight of swords I mean, you're looking at this connection and then in the way you feel it, it feels balanced, it feels good, it feels like you've established some sort of a, you know, continuous flow to it um, underneath it all. But on the surface, it confuses the shit out of you. Well, why are they showing up different? Is it me? No, most of the times it's not us. <laughs> you know, uh, people are going through stuff. And sometimes they're not necessarily 100% aware of it. You know, sometimes healing doesn't happen at a conscious level. It's just there in the background. But it does affect our moods or the way we show up. So, you know, if it's becoming a problem, then yeah, it should be addressed in the way of, hey, you're a bitch or something, you know, like, take a look at that, please, because this is too much or something like that, you know. Um, I don't know, but at this point, I feel like it's one of those, you know, directing this whole experience towards you, towards your own insecurities that are coming from you. You know, they may have nothing to do with them. Because, as I said, I see them going through their own process, whether they're aware of it or not. It's their own story, their own process, you know. As to the Queen of Wands in the recent past the eight of cups the high priestess the wheel of fortune something happened something flipped for them something flipped from that place of all oh, rainbows and butterflies and everything's great and let's uh, be in love and all of that into not that they're not in love anymore their heart is completely out of the picture because they're going through who knows what that belongs to them that usually if it's something nasty from our past it's gonna try to disconnect us from our past from our heart you know so it feels like they lost touch with their intuition a little bit that you know things like that which kind of makes sense because the eight of cups is there so that tells me that when this story of their own healing started for them they may have also disconnected a little bit from their heart which made them appear a little more cold a little more distant you know but it's something that they would have to go through so that this lesson appears for them so that they could work on it. I don't know if they're working on it or not. That part, I have no idea. I just see this showing up for them. Let's do the Ace of Swords in your strength. The Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, the Magician. Interesting, because in your intention here, you're showing me a sense of creating space for all of this to play out in the way that it needs to play out. What that means is stepping into a sense of understanding what the hell is at play here, not taking it personally and not saying, oh, it's about me, I did something, you know? And just kind of showing up from your heart and seeing what happens. And just creating space for yourself to accept what's going on and especially for them to go through their process here. Um, let's do the seven of wands in the immediate future. Ten of Swords, the Star, the Six of Cups. There are tendencies here. If this situation remains in the way that it is, and whoever this is doesn't look at that as, hmm, I gotta heal this, and instead they're just kind of holding it as an energy through which they're functioning, which is not gonna be healthy for this, there may have there may be tendencies of this is done, we can't work like this. You know, we're we're done here. Um, I don't see you wanting that. I see a lot of rejection over that kind of scenario here, you know, because your desire is for things to work out. But at the same time, you can't control their journey. You can't tell them, hey, you need to heal your shit because they probably don't even know they got some shit going on, you know? So you can't force someone to heal, basically. Uh, but the tendency to kind of close this off is definitely showing up. Uh, what's shown up even stronger than that is the desire for things to work out and the understanding that this is a pretty important connection to you, you know. For the Ace of Pentacles, you get the Hangman, the Strength card, the Three of Pentacles. It's pretty tough. It's pretty 
it's not easy on your part because I feel like at this point what you're trying to do is stand your ground stay in your power and create space for this what that means is a lot of acceptance of how things are playing out you know um, not to the point where this starts affecting you and you know being unhealthy for you but enough so that you you kind of they're struggling with something here and you're right here and you're like whatever you need i'm right here just know that i'm not going to pick up on this shit because it's not mine it's yours to deal with so it takes a lot to be that supportive energy here but i feel like you're really trying to do it and you actually are doing it so that's beautiful whoever this is because i don't know if this is love if this is a friend i have no idea Let's do the Eight of Swords in the um, Hidden Energies. The Four of Swords, the King of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. You're struggling with your own stuff around this situation because as much as you want to be supportive, as much as you want to create space for this, there's also the desire for, but you know, I want to be happy too through this. I want for this commitment to work out. And I know it did at some point and I kind of missed that and I want it here now. So it's your own desires conflicting with your own need and yeah, your own need to create space for, for the situation. So there's a little bit of stubbornness attached to your desires of I want for this to work out now. You know, and then it comes into conflict with, but the universe is telling you, sit your ass down and create space. So that creates a whole lot of overthinking for you. So that may keep you quite busy in your head. Uh, let's do the 10 of swords. And also it brings up the fear of, what if I create space and if I just sit down on my ass and not do shit about it, what if I lose it, you know? So. There's definitely that at play too. So this situation is bringing up stuff for you as well. For the Ten of Swords in your hopes and fears, you get the Three of Swords, the Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. Um, it's just, you know, trusting. Trusting what you feel, trusting what's here within this connection, what's been formed already, because I see it there. I see the love there. It's been formed. It's been, you know, but sometimes people go through shit. So as long as you have that clear notion of what is truly going on underneath the surface and what's holding this together, you should be fine. But your own fear is going to cause you a lot of pain if you allow it. You know, your own fear of losing this, uh, which is going to push you to do things that you may not want to do or to react in certain ways, you know, that you look at afterwards and you're like, why the hell did I do that, you know? Um, for the Seven of Swords, for the potential outcome, you get the King of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands. It, it could be that at some point this space that's being created is going to, you know, get bigger and bigger to the point of distance may be created within the situation um, for a while, it looks like. But I do see still a sense of sustaining that energy of love and that foundation that's been created here. So even though it may seem distant sometimes, there's still that sense of remember, uh, or, you know, you probably know that whole sense of, you know, you, you probably have friends that you haven't talked to in years. And when you do, it's like you haven't talked to them in, in a day, you know, since yesterday. So it's kind of looking a little bit like that, where even though it may feel like this is distant, it's still there. So, let's see what the universe has to close it off. King of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. I feel like it's a conflict of interest here. At this point in time, you may want something, they may want something else. Their focus may be someplace else, on their own, whatever they're dealing with, and their goals may shift into I need to do this and this and this for myself while you're probably in a different place about this. 
Um, I feel like this is temporary. I don't know if it's permanent in terms of you completely shifted your goals, you completely shifted your... I feel like their goals are influenced at this time by their own stuff that's showing up uh, from their past. So if they're not gonna uh, feel, feel and heal that, um, their goals might end up going in a particular direction for a very long time until they figure out, oh wait, hold on, I gotta heal this, and then let's see what happens, you know, kind of a thing. So for now, this is kind of their energy. It could even be yours, but the universe is kind of showing me a little bit of their energy, uh, which is shown up a little deceptive at this time in terms of what they want for themselves, uh, because what they want for themselves is conflicting with what you want for yourself and for this connection. Um, so I feel like that could create a lot of conflict here at this time. But again, the source of the problem is on someone's side, and it could even be you, I don't know. There's an issue of the past that's unhealed, that's shown up, and that's actually running the show for whoever that is, you know? The minute that gets healed up, this connection might flow very different, in a different direction here. Possibly a better one. Is that a hummingbird? So. Anyways, uh, let's close it off with the Myths and Mermaids Oracle. And you get Venus with Cherubs. Okay. Let's see what that is. Number 14. <clears throat> Beware of false feelings. You may soon feel attracted to someone new, but be careful. It is easy to mistake feelings of infatuation with love. So check your emotions regularly and ensure that they are not being misinterpreted due to physical desire or a reluctance to be alone. That's interesting. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. Hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.